Come on down and listen to the pod. We got Tone Time, Nick Pack, Connor, Cuba Z, Big Motor, Jay, and Evergreen Bar. Hang up, so let me hear you got the bell in the loop. If you don't, then you're a sellout, but you're a stew. Round of applause, here come the boys. I am not Tony Diggs. Tony Diggs is still here with us. Yeah. Uh, I am Ty Schmidt. It's good to be back, boys. Yeah, I tell you, what, you, know, you miss back. an episode, you kind of feel like you lose the rhythm a little you bit. Little. But I feel like we got some good stuff today. Connor's also here, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, COVID cowboy yeah. up on his uh-huh. perch. Nick, Frank, whatever you want to call him. Hey, Nick. Who's hey, in the back? Oh, uh, hey. Zeke is not here. Zeke is on vacation. What do you mean? Mm-hmm. Currently. Hey. Uh, oh, is that... Is that- Wait a minute, Z. I thought, I thought Z was gone. <laughs> what? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, Surrey, Sup. Gump, good day, sir, and everybody's sweetheart, America's sweetheart, Mitt. That's right. Hello. How you doing, yeah. Hey, Mitt. How you doing? doing How's your weekend, Mitt? I had a great weekend, Connor. How was your weekend? It was what good, happened? aside from you waking me up at 5 a.m. on a Friday. Uh, okay, Whoa. yeah, you told me about this. <laughs> yeah. This was uh... boy, oh boy. Saturday morning, we woke up early. You know, mm-hmm. the dog hears something outside. Sure, we meander out there. Mitt's playing fucking grab ass on the couch in the <laughs> living room at 4:45 in the morning. Hey, Mitt, go to bed. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. You don't have to stay up all night drinking booze and smoking doobies with your buddies. All right? Good lord. I mean, Mitt, do you have anything to say (laughs) for yourself, dude? Clearly not. We had a very long Saturday. I don't think I woke up until like 1. This is Friday night. Uh, Yeah, well, no, it was (laughs) Saturday morning, technically. Oh, your Saturday was long, yeah. (laughs) Okay. Hey. FaceTime mid at 5 p.m. Saturday was curled up in a blanket yeah. like a body bag. Yeah. He was still, yeah. He was still foaming fucked up. at them. There was drool falling out of his mouth. Mid, how old are you? I am 22. So. I mean, we were probably still staying up. Yeah, no, for yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 we fucking quit it. No, 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 about. But also, like. Connor was doing that like two months ago. He was. I mean, when I was. Got a, this high horse from. When I was 22, I was a junior in college. So it's not like <laughs> yeah. I was anywhere near. That's a good point. Where Mid is. Hey. But, Mid, have you ever considered, like, hey, I don't need to drink, like, 65 beers yeah. every single weekend. Yes. Like, you don't need to drink, like, 65 Miller Lights every Friday night. After, you, like, the sixth drink, though, then it all kind of just starts going together, and then you're having fun with all your friends, and, like... That is sh- about where you catch the rhythm, yeah. the yeah. sixth one. When you're having yeah. fun with your friends. It's like, hey, now we go. The seventh drink is always the best one. Is That's it, sweet. dude? Yeah. Yeah. Seven. Number seven. Oh. Are you on seven yet? This is sick. This drink is so sick. Yeah, but you know Mitt is also fucking, hey, guess who's got doobie? Oh. <laughs> After every single sip. So. Man, that's always a floating number for me. It's not always seven. Sometimes no. it can be three. Like Sometimes, sometimes it can be one. If I had a light, light, light oh, yeah. lunch. Oh, yeah. Three. Three. Three, your body back. <laughs> yeah, I know. Dude, when I was in the airport leaving last oh, week, uh, well, I fucking hadn't eaten anything either because I left right from here and got there. I had two very stiff Jack and Cokes on that flight. Nice. I was like, oh, geez, I'm a little boozed up, actually. It, it was pretty sweet. How was the flight? How was the weekend up in... Uh... It was good. You know, weather's beautiful. I'll tell you what. It is East Coast up there, like actual East Coast. I mean, it yeah. it is. It's it's fucking... It's a different world. Top you know? yeah. Rhode Island is, pre- is pretty nice. It it's is. It's pretty nice. But yeah, you you know, it was, it was a good weekend, good weather. Mm-hmm. Uh, nice little reset. You yeah, know? of course. Everybody needs that. Yes. Everybody needs that. Yeah. I hate flying commercial, though. I really, really? do. By and large. I mean, if it's just... If you're not flying direct. If you're not flying direct. direct. It's and terrible. I tweeted it. It's very startling. I, uh, For whatever reason, I was flying from Rhode Island down to Tampa, back up to Indy. Kind of a fucking ass-backwards way uh-huh. to get home, if you ask me. But uh, I got into the airport at like 7 Every restaurant shut down. There's one restaurant open, yep. and there's 800 people waiting to get <laughs> yeah. in there. Like it's it's absurd. It's I mean, quite frankly, they need to fix this immediately. The, oh yeah. The airport restaurants have not rebounded yet as far as the hours for COVID. Have no, been but it seems like they have all like in Indianapolis, especially they have like the marquees up for like, hey, new restaurant coming soon, coming soon. Yeah. We're updating. It's like you know what I mean. Is a Shake Shack coming or are you fucking fibbing? <laughs> been a while because I've been looking at it for a long time. Still says coming soon. 
bullshit. Does anyone else have anything to get off uh, their chest? I mean, it, you know, I'll tell you what. I feel like it was a slow news week last yeah. week. It's kind of picking yeah. up a yeah, little bit. A little. Um, uh, I watched a few things on Netflix. This is a robbery. Has oh, anybody? I watched the first episode of that last yeah. night. Dude. How long is it? Because I thought about it. it was, four. I think the uh, That's yeah, doable. it's four episodes, yeah. but I think the first one was like fifty-three minutes or something. I didn't finish all of it last night, but I watched like forty minutes. It's it's it, electric. It's really it's really is. good. Uh, it, it takes place in Boston. Out. Dude. <laughs> listen, no, it's, it's not it's, stooges like me. There are people with real accents. Top tier They got accents. the spotlight guy yeah. who's in it. Mm-hmm. I mean, wait, wait, wait. Which one? Uh, one of the... Fucking, I forget uh, which one. I think it might have been Ruffalo. I don't know if it was Keaton. Keaton was the head By of the it, way, right? I, I watched uh, Spotlight in Jamaica. Yeah. It's a good movie. Fucking great movie. Really, oh, yeah. really. Little heavy. God, how. It's a little heavy, but it is. Yeah, it, people yeah. don't forget. People still look at BC High with a uh, question. won awards, high, Tony. You know? Huh? They won awards. The first time yeah, you saw won it? Yeah, won fucking Academy Awards. First yeah. time you've seen it, so. No, no. Just oh. the first time in a long time. Yeah. Probably the second time I've ever seen it. I do want that and the big short. I like partnered together because I came out the same year. Both in unbelievable movies. But yeah, this is a robbery. Definitely watch it. <laughs> it I also good. watched that new uh, Melissa McCarthy. Oh, and- Jesus Christ. How was it? I, I, <laughs> did, wait, did you watch it? I, 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 I watched did, it. What is it? Fucking Thunder Girls? Thunder, Thunder Force. There it is. Thunder How Squad. I? I couldn't get through the trailer. I, I saw the trailer. I was like, fuck no. Oh, I didn't even man. let the trailer play. Oh, no, no, no. I watched the trailer and I was like, oh, this is going to be the worst movie I've ever seen. I have to see how bad this is on a scale of 1 to 10. Yeah, I delivered it. <laughs> it was it was brutal. There were some lines in there where I actually had to exit out. Of, I was watching on my phone. It, I finished this as a robbery. Why were you Friday. watching on your phone? Because I was fucking gaming PGA oh, okay. 2K21 Makes sense, David. all weekend. It was awesome. But I was watching on my phone <laughs> because I had the masters on my laptop. So I was like, fuck, I need to put something else on. I had a lot of things going this weekend. Yeah. But so Thunder Force, I was like, I have to try it. It's the number one thing on Netflix. You got to try it because it's number one also that's a fucking terrible theory you don't have to watch it because it's number one by the way don't follow that but i did it was so bad oh my god start to finish jason bateman has uh crab arms in it i mean mickey mouse to the max but hey it was worth it because of how terrible it was i could hate watch that you watched the whole thing i watched about an hour and a half i was like 10 minutes away from the end and i didn't see the end i couldn't do it i do appreciate you uh suffering for our benefit though and yeah. letting us know taking the bullet there like hey guys don't watch this I thought yeah. about it because nothing was on last night and i fucking could not just pull but you're an asshole as well because you did that because you wanted to see how bad it was, but Nick earlier was telling <laughs> you to fucking watch Mighty, the new Mighty Pops. Oh, yeah. Like, nope, oh, it's yeah, too bad yeah, yeah. It's, it's how bad so it bad is. it's good, and I will I will go to my grave saying that you got to watch the new Mighty Pops. Yeah, I know. Uh, there's just nobody, you know, Melissa McCarthy, all right, let's see what she's up to. You know, there's no one in there that's selling me. Emilio. Oh, Emilio. Oh, yeah, I thought he was just, I thought he had like a cameo. Miracle, man. No, no, no. I thought he had a cameo. In every episode. Yeah, Bombay is a fucking stalwart of the series. Bombay I mean, moves the needle. He does Dude. make no mistake the show does stink yeah, it so. does but i tell you what if you're a fan of the ducks there's some i mean I, I'm, I'm just waiting for the old ducks to show up that's yeah. really that's really oh, yeah. i mean we saw the pictures i'll watch it for that From what i gathered the new the new i was class. spot on that fucking new charlie stinks yeah new charlie's mom's even worse <laughs> i mean you know yeah yeah <laughs> My goalie Zed is electric. <laughs> goalie Zed's electric. Yeah, oh, how, how's about. the fucking influencer? Is that a sweet character? That kid fucking stinks. Doesn't even know how to skate. <laughs> I mean, you guys are talking he about is gonna appearances, get- though. If they're not wheeling Goldberg out there for the episodes... <laughs> I'm not watching. Is Hans? Is, Hans, is there a statue of Hans yeah. in it? Is there a statue of Hans? Uh, uh, there's, we, a, there's a reference to. Is there an ode to Hans? I, had, I, I, see, Hans? I did not finish the, the latest episode, so maybe. maybe so they go, Hans, 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 Hans. And then go out and fucking <laughs> score eight goals to no, come back and a, win. Uh, there's a slight nod to Hans. I mean, if, there's the, the, if they're not the touching the sign. The old man. Hans and Jans. Yeah, it was actually Jans. Or Jan. It was actually Jans. Right, yeah. I mean, Jans may be who I'm talking about. I'm not fucking sure. But if they're not slapping a sign on the way out of the fucking Fraud! locker room. For- 
that's what that shit. Hey, don't forget to hit the side boys. Hans on three. One, two, three. And it's like a picture of him sharpening a skate. But the new yeah. coach, yeah, listen, the new coach of the Ducks is I thought it was Bombay. incredible. No, no, no. Nah, is he dude, back still? No, it's the dude from Letterkenny. What he is fuck? electric. What's okay. Bombay doing then? Bombay, like, is. Bombay's running the Ice Palace. Yeah, and it's. What? That is the only He's thing. He's running I, a local skating rink? So, yeah. That's oh, shit. He's working at Blade Runners? Oh, 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 oh. That's yeah, shit. and it's run down. It's a shithole. Is he serving I mean, nachos and stuff? Well, <laughs> it's he a tight enough. ship. Let me get this straight. Bombay goes from coaching <laughs> and playing in USA. the NHL. Yeah. And then he goes. Oh, they explain it all, my friend. And oh, then he lo- no it, it, stone it, is left untouched. Had, also a successful lawyer, correct? So he, he all well, of a sudden. He was fired, I yeah, believe. But he goes from there to. Because he uh, drove, drove Mr. Dunsworth I mean, out yeah, onto the ice. Yeah, well, <laughs> Bom- Bombay is a grade A booze bag. Oh, so yeah, it's, it's, not, not, it's not out of the question okay. that he would wind up here. This guy's you know? been drinking for 10 years, and now he's. Chuck's yeah. mother a whore. Whoa. Whoa. What? Is Charlie's mother a whore? What do you mean? She doesn't look like it in the. Who so what? Her? So she fucking sucked off Bombay in the first Mighty Ducks. Big deal. Yeah. Yeah. That's you a know? question. Christ. Lucky for you, Tony. Big Sky's back tonight. Oh, oh. not watching it. Now we I go. will. You know what? I will. Now we go. I, 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 the people deserve me to report back on it honestly and fairly. Mm-hmm. Unlike the fucking shit you're peddling back Don't there. Peddle your fucking lies around here, Tony. I only watched one episode of it, but I, I don't hate it yet. It's called The Serpent. I oh, read that's, that's, that that's on Apple TV, right? No, it's on Netflix. No, it's on oh, Netflix. I'm a servant. Mm. All right, <laughs> <laughs> Go All right then. That's All right. supposed to be pretty decent through that M. Night, right? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's the M. Night that's travel. That's Ding Dong. Yeah. Uh, this one is about these gem dealers that steal people's identities. They commit. They 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 murder these people. They assume their identities. They live this lavish life. Uh, I forget what country it's in Thailand, maybe. Ooh. And they uh, someone catches on to them. This dude from the Dutch consulate, the Dutch embassy, catches on to them, and he's like trying to track them down, hunt them down. It's pretty. It's pretty interesting. Okay. How many seasons is it? Are Just sorry, it's pretty new. I think it's, it's like eight or nine those. episodes. I only watched one episode. It was kind. Of, it was almost an hour long. Uh, but a lot of drugs, sex, all that type of shit. Like, yeah. okay, it's not one of those. Neat. Might be in. Now we go. It's not yeah. like the heist where it's like from Spain and it's dubbed. No, 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 no. Thank no. God, because there's another one of those shows. I know out, they did. That's, they're that big into that. Fucking annoying. Uh, <laughs> Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Awesome. Pretty good. Have we done any updates on that as of late? Or we I don't know. know. Captain America stinks. I, I t- all I'll say he is. He is a son of a bitch. I just, I just caught up. It is awesome. I don't know where you guys are ranking among WandaVision and that, but... I like WandaVision better, to be honest. I, so I think far, this is better than WandaVision, but it's just because it's action. There's more action. There. More action yeah. gets off right away. and But also, Loki looks like Loki's it's going to be Luke, the best Loki's one. Loki's going to be awesome. Yeah, yeah, I told you guys earlier, I got a bit of uh, Marvel fatigue. You did? You know, I'll watch, yeah. the, I'll watch the movies. I do like the movies, but, I mean, there's too many goddamn TV shows. It just feels... I feel like I, I haven't invested any time yet. I'm already, like, three behind. I yeah. just don't know if I'll ever... Because I wanted to watch Falcon and Winter Soldier. Believe me, I did. I just don't know if I'm ever going to get around to it. Look, we talked about how this is where the industry's going, Ty. Series is. <laughs> <laughs> and then they do the movies. Catch up, dude. I just can't do it. <laughs> it's progressing the Marvel plot. That's what keeps me coming yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. It's like, all right, they're going to make movies after these shows that are going to be set because of what they've done in the shows. Yeah, but they're not going to make it so that you don't know what's going on if you haven't seen the I shows. Don't know. I don't know. Because there are a lot of people that I ain't paying fucking seven ninety nine for Disney Plus. They might now, though. I didn't think they would before. Like when they had the Netflix shows, they definitely didn't cater to that. I think they might now, though. Like even I mean Disney Plus in general. To be honest, I, I've been paying for that goddamn thing for I don't know how long, and I just recently opened it to watch Ducks, and that was the first time <laughs> I'd opened it in quite some time. Well, get your money's worth. Watch WandaVision. Watch Falcon in the Winter Soldier. <laughs> When does Loki come out? Loki comes out in June? Yeah. yeah. No thanks. I Let's get June. to the fucking pod fod. Jesus. <laughs> Enough of the Loki garbage. Oh, <laughs> yeah. uh, Japan announced that they uh, plan to release treated water from the Fukushima nuclear plant into the ocean. So we're just going to have a fucking bunch of three-eyed fish everywhere. Yeah, I, talk I, about a no thanks. Yeah. Well, they treat it with you. put chlorine. Yeah, I don't get it. Um, they ran it through a Brita 
a couple times. Yeah, well, and, you know, they use should be fine, nuclear then. power to just transition it into a clean, renewable uh, energy resource and just okay. dump it right back in the ocean. Here we go. They should make stuff so that you can put in the ocean that just destroys plastic. The entire I process is think expected they, to take decades. Is that what it says? I can't can, read any of that. They can do this because they know Zilla is just going to suck up all the radiation. It's going to be fine. Mm-hmm. He's going to come over and now drink out of it go. like a dog bowl. Yeah. I still haven't fucking watched that either. I, mean, I know you guys have talked that? about it at length. What are you watching? What are you watching? What am I watching? Shit, I watched uh, fucking nine innings of baseball yesterday. <laughs> I watched the entire Yankee game. Jesus. I know it is tough when you're in season. Like, I'm watching all these That's hockey games. It's I'm, hard, to, I mean, it's I'm, hard to catch up on shows. I'm paying for the goddamn premium package. You'd be crazy if I'm not going to get my money's worth, you know? Yeah, you should, of course. But also, you know, watch some of these shows. No, yeah, I need to. I need you know, to. Does Japan well. have an OSHA? You think that's looking over this, or? I don't... I. I mean, I think Emperor uh, Hirohito just said, hey, just, <laughs> just, just dump go it in there. Say, Fucking Emperor. He, <laughs> he said, go ahead. He's, hey, let it rip. Yeah, dump it into the ocean. Who gives? I'll who, be dead by the time this thing works. You're going to kill all the fish. Who I cares? mean, it's salt water, right? Yeah, true. You're not drinking it anyway. Yeah. But what, I mean, yeah, what if we the get sushi, dude? You are swimming in Think it. about the sushi markets. You know, what happens if your body just gets all fucked up because of it? What if a shark does mutate into Goja? I mean, like, <laughs> what happens then? Or, or, you know, a human mutates into a shark, and I we got sharks on land. Yeah. Then what, you know? I don't know. You asked me. This is bad business. <laughs> hey, good. <laughs> It ain't good. I don't know. I'll tell good. you what, that shark steps one foot on land. Jimmy Buffett's going to see his ass in court. <laughs> yeah. He is not going to stand that gimmick no, of copyright infringement on his cold beer. <laughs> That's what Jimmy Buffett's doing. He's getting out his M16 from the top of his truck. M16? I, th- I thought he was going to go with the uh, elephant gun that the uh, hunter in Jumanji uses. Oh, Maybe he nice. does. Maybe he goes fucking harpoon gun. Maybe he pulls one of those out. Or the, the elephant truck. gun that uh, Earl uses in Tremors. Mm, I haven't seen Tremors in a long, long time. time. 80 years. Trust me, that time. one plays. It is good. <laughs> it is good, though. Next. <laughs> Don't watch Tremors now. Ah, man, I really need to turn. Okay, here we go. I'm going to get you on the other screen, though. Yo, so got a serious question for the boys. <laughs> Say you get paid to drive from East Coast to West Coast, but you only get three artists that you could listen to. Oh. If they are featured in a song, that counts. What three artists are the boys going with and why? Uh. I mean, road trip, you need Kenny Chesney. Nah. Really? Chesney fucking, <laughs> fucking plays. Six pack of summer pop? Yeah, Chesney plays on the road. Guys, do blue. See, in my <laughs> book. Kick in the closet, piece of on the floor. <laughs> I fucking. Man, oh. Had a dog named Bussy for Slim. The best driving awesome. music you can get is Tom Petty. Like, Tom it's like Petty. the guy wrote music while in the car all the time. That's it's, strong. Yeah, contender. people yeah. are going to drive to this. I put Petty on there. I'd probably put Kanye West on there. Just yeah. because so many goddamn songs you can do. A lot mm-hmm. of hits. Man, we know you're doing Drake. You can just pipe down back there. Well, I mean, it is also featured on the song and the best feature, always a Drake feature. Course, yeah. So Okay. Yeah, but uh, so Petty, can... Kanye, uh, yeah. and then I'd probably, <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably throw in one of the classics like the Beatles or maybe yeah, even Beatles ACDC. Would be good. I would definitely have you know PJ on there. Pearl Jam's got a very yeah. vast mm-hmm. library, uh-huh. a lot of live stuff. Um, I might throw Avicii on there, honestly. Ooh. Just to mix up Avicii, Petty, Kanye. Yeah, I'll go with that. Get, keep the energy up. Exactly. When you're when you're starting to get low, come on, you know. I probably do the three disc set of um, the Barden Bellows and uh, oh, nice Titanium. Okay, shoot me down that Titanium yeah. Yeah. in the shower. Uh huh. And I can't think of the name of the fucking shit movie right now. Uh, Pitch, Pitch Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> the three disc set of the movies of Pitch Perfect. Oh, nice. Probably. The uh, Cups and the Cups yeah, remix. Yeah. Queen. <laughs> Latifah. What, what was that, Mitt? The fucking, yeah, what was that, Mitt? You don't like Queen? You don't like Queen? Pitch Latifah. Perfect, Mitt. Mitt, you no, got something I, to say? I think uh, Pitch Perfect stinks, and I hate the Cup song. Oh, sweet dude. Ooh. You're a bad You're just pissed because you, oh. you couldn't do it. I could never do That's it. That's not it fucking money bag. Yeah, well, I don't want to listen to it, dude. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Queen. Yeah, maybe. Queen the would Queen be good. On there, yeah. Oh, you're definitely going to have Queen on there. Yeah. CCR. Well, CCR Queens. would be great. Yeah. Nothing but bangers. Maybe the even MCR. Band. 
The band. Six Disc. The, the band is. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I might um, change Crick, mine. Crick. Springsteen. Oh. The ball. The ball. <laughs> Next. <laughs> 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 question for the boys what are your iphone screen times looking like oh uh, fuck off I don't, yeah, know. I don't know, <laughs> yeah, I, don't I, don't know. I just that. know that it was up 37 percent last week i don't know what to tell you it's not low yeah i don't get them fucking notifications anymore yeah, okay i turn those off i need to turn i get it every sunday morning oh, yeah 9 no. a.m like too. it's an amber alert yeah no, i'm like i don't get them out. know this me too get out next too many Two, two. For the pod fod, has Connor fully committed to look <laughs> exactly <laughs> like Richard Jewell? Wow. Oh, no. Believe me. After that Celsius ad today, that, that is cupcakes compared to what I'm getting. <laughs> yeah, you know what I have? You taking heat today, dude? I'm, I'm trying to adapt into like a Ron Swanson type. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what you're going That's where I'm going. Don yeah. Swanson yeah. slash Dick Jewel. Uh-huh. Dick Swanson. There's a ball that said titty or pork. <laughs> nice. Uh, Next. Uh, that's good. That's that good. good. Zeke. <laughs> Zeke. Coincidentally, did nothing, so... Continue. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Okay, Tony! <laughs> Steve Urkel actor Jaleel White launches Purple Urkel, Cur- purple Urkel Cannabis brand with 710 laps. Mm, let me get a little bit of that Purple Urkel. Give Fucking me that Purple Urkel, dog. Um, good for him, man. Yeah, good for him. Awesome. Good for him. Isn't everybody doing this? Sh- shout out. I don't know. I don't know if anybody's going to... I hope every strain is related to family. Uh, it's a family matter. Oh, the Carl Winslow. Oh. Yeah. He just slaps. Yeah. Lara, my pet? What state is it? What state's uh, he, he launching this in? Uh, you know, I didn't God, read into it. California. Pro- yeah. It's probably out What's, there. What's uh, 710 la- Labs? Is 710 the area Cody hails from? Looking Where's that at? Location. You Where's that buy, at? Uh, I have seen this brand, 710 oh, wow. Labs. 710 in, Labs uh, is a... Big brand. Yeah, in dispensaries in uh, Colorado. They've got sure. like, looks like 400 in California and about 300 in Colorado. They're big. Sheesh. Big brand. <laughs> they make uh, really cool edibles. Really? Oh, yeah, really? they have a soda that's really good. They're really sweet. <laughs> Drinking your weed now, Mitt? Uh, yeah, actually, that was the coolest thing that I got in Cal- or not California, Colorado the last time I went. Hey, man, you had a flag football game. How'd that go the other what? day, dude? Wait, wait, I forgot to what? mention that. Dude, yeah, actually, it was Sunday. I uh, was struggling That's yesterday. I was walking around. I thought I was going to pull my hamstring. But I had one catch, and uh, I had a touchdown. Oh, oh did you moss somebody? One score. Your one catch was a touchdown? Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I did get called down at the one. But Got a score. Was, Got a score there. How fucked up were you if you yeah, don't wait. remember what you remember? It was a t- Sunday, Tony. I was about to throw up because I was hungover, but I was not fucked up. <sighs> Man, I expect- did, you, did you leave that uh, thing on there for the entire time? Yeah, or is did. that just in here? On the, what, the left screen? Yeah. yeah. I put it no, I put them on different. the monitors. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. okay, okay, good. I was going to say. I, I thought you were being a doofus there for a second. <laughs> no, I, wanted, I wanted to help you guys. Mate, you scored 18 touchdowns your last full season of real football. You're only getting one catch and flag? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. That. I just didn't really get the ball. I also I got a pick. What's well, sweet? What the fuck's that about, dude? What's the quarterback <laughs> doing? Dude? Get Mitt, start paltering for open. the ball. Oh, yeah. Hey, Mitt, maybe get open. How's that sound? <laughs> Run your goddamn route. Oh, Jesus. Route. Good for Urkel, though, huh? Yeah, he's crushing it. He is. He kind of looks cool. You think he looks like, <laughs> Ste- he looks like Stefan Urkel? Do you think him and fucking Alfonso uh, Riviera yeah. hate each other? Yes. I do. There's probably some tension there. I'd imagine there's a little like bit I wonder of contentious if, yeah, there. Yeah, they want to smack each other in the mouth, maybe. I think so. We I talking Carlton? Yes. Yeah. Something to think about. I don't know. <laughs> Next. I don't know if Urkel starts going to that fucking golf outing and starts Oh, yeah. Sure, yeah, the dance. Then, then they're going to have a real Carlton, yeah, Carlton can't get a shine in then. <laughs> uh, here's how Americans rank the 50 states per YouGov. And I don't know. I, I see, What is this like that you would want to travel to? Seems like it. Or like just like 
good it's states. Coolest fucking states. <clears throat> I mean, someone else is going to... My eyes are pissed. Hawaii, I Respondents were asked to choose the better of two states from a list of the 50 oh, states like in Washington, D.C. in a series of head-to-head matchups. Figure shown is the percentage of times each state won their matchup. That is oh, some fine print, though. Hawaii, Colorado, Virginia, Nevada, North Carolina, What's Florida, cool about Arizona, Virginia? York, I had the Georgia, same Texas, question. Stop Tobacco it. Road. Uh-huh. Yeah. So Hawaii's which is in North Carolina. Cheap <laughs> 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 I get Hawaii. Colorado's <laughs> fucking sweet. Yeah. Nevada's sweet. Cheap bucks. Yeah. North Virginia. Carolina's <laughs> a bunch of sweet beaches. Yeah. Florida, Arizona, Small New York. Eight packs of cities Virginia for has beaches bucks. too, though, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Virginia Beach. Virginia Beach. I mean, it's actually not a bad list. Why is DC so low? That's what I don't Because it's get. not a state yeah. and it loses every time. And they're. I've are, been there and it's actually kind of fucking sweet. Yeah, it's kind of DC, sweet, but it's DC is see, sweet. But like, the I, most homeless people per capita <laughs> by a mile. Yeah, but for sure. New Jersey should be 51. <laughs> I, I want to see. Jersey's down pretty low. I mean, is it against all fifty states? I want to see the matchups here. I mean, did Iowa have a fucking stacked bracket or, or something like this? Is bullshit. <laughs> Iowa's down pretty low. <laughs> Four South Dakota. You yeah, know why though? It's fucking a John Wayne Gacy effect. Bingo. Yeah, you're right because Illinois is at thirty nine. Iowa, you guys just got a better publicist. I'm sure you got a lot of great it's stuff there, but yeah, no one not. knows. We don't. As we someone who's lived in Hastings, that's the problem. <laughs> As someone who's lived in PA and Indiana. PA being 17 and Indiana being 45 makes complete sense. Yeah, India, Indiana is appropriately ranked. I'm, I'm surprised New York is down to eight. I figured it would at least be top five. Oh, you're telling me well, Massachusetts is- fucking invented America. We're sitting at 31. You're welcome, <laughs> all these other states for existing. I mean, outside of Boston, though. No. It's state kind of state. Uh, fucking <laughs> pro basketball Hall of Fames in Massachusetts. You bite your tongue. I did not know that. Yeah, Springfield, baby. Oh, That's yeah. Bullshit. I always guessed that was it. Illinois. They got six flags out yeah. in, a, in Mass, you know. Yeah. We're right next to New Hampshire. Live free or die. Yeah. I mean, and come you, on. Uh, fucking Rhode Island's beautiful. Rhode Island's beautiful. beautiful. We got Cape Cod. So, you Man, guys, the selling point of your state is that it's close to other weird states? No, no. <laughs> Nantucket, Cape Cod, fucking. Martha's Vineyard. Oh yeah, Ohio's a little high for me. I think it's the Kennedys that are killing us. I think Ohio is appropriately ranked right where it is, thirty-three. Yeah. Yeah. Why is Alaska so high? It's beautiful up there. Beautiful. Beautiful. And honestly, why is Montana beautiful, so low? Man. You ever seen the proposal? I can see Russia from I my have. backyard. You ever seen an American bald eagle flying free in Alaska? I've seen one flying in Iowa. I goddamn guarantee that. They're Canadian up there. I've You've seen, seen a bunch in fucking Montana, and Montana yep. is way too fucking low, Connor. Well, hey, mate, you were Mark dumping Ryan. on my Montana yeah, last, last week. week so. yeah, way too were, low. Uh, it's at 18, man. I that's think that's pretty, very it, generous. I think it should, I think it yeah, could it be, should top be top 10. 10. Yeah. Uh, uh, Montana over Tennessee? I don't know about How that. Montana, over Michigan? Michigan? Montana, Montana is great. Don't get me wrong, but does it have a Sheets? Ooh. No, they got uh, what was that place uh, called? Fucking goddamn a- Runyon or something. <laughs> <laughs> John Runyon. Yeah, he owns a bunch of gas stations. Lucky out there. Will's Casino in every gas station. Pretty fucking sweet. Yeah, but how far do I have to drive to get to the next yeah, gas agree. station? I uh, actually, yeah, it's pretty fucking way. far. Yeah, that's a good point. All right. Cool list. Cool list. Cool list. Next, man. Don't hate. <clears throat> Mystery flights are the next big thing. Uh, Qantas is the latest airline to offer flights to undisclosed locations, providing passengers with clues about what to pack and teasing itineraries provided by the airline. Would you ever book a mystery flight? No. (laughs) I actually 100% would. That would be kind of fun. I think I might, too, unless, like, you fucking... You there's no me? way they fly. Hey, guess what? You're going to the Arctic Circle. <laughs> oh, that's the thing. If it <laughs> says say, pack a winter coat, snow pants, hand warmers, it's like, get okay, ready. You're I'm going to Bangladesh. Switch my flight. I yeah, better be going, going to, to fucking Bangladesh. Aspen and not like Lincoln, Nebraska. Mm-hmm. Hey, I tell you what. Well, football season. Qantas <laughs> is a comfortable flight, man. We flew Qantas to Australia. You get your own pajamas and shit. Qantas oh, so there. If you flew there, uh, they sure. give so you they pajamas? Oh, yeah. Oh, so if they flew you to like fucking. Dubai, that'd be sweet. It would totally fuck. I would do suck. it if they How show you like a list of twenty options, and I was like, "All right, yeah, cool with these twenty options." Also, how do they like? Hey, by the way, this is a seventeen-hour flight, so uh, <laughs> yeah, you should, you should strap in. But how do they prepare you for how long? What the if they is? just flew you all the way around the world and then landed you back? You yeah. did it! Yeah. <laughs> Fucking, you're a millionaire, Hart. Congratulations! <laughs> You flew! Oh. 
Oh man, that'd be awesome. That'd be a great. We'll pay prank. for your Uber home. You did it. <laughs> that was your vacation. <laughs> Good for Qantas, though. The huh? next uh, big thing is what they're throwing in the headline here. Who's got the time, money, and energy to just be going anywhere in the world? Dick yeah. Branson. Usually, you and he's book taking a, his yeah, own that's what flight. I mean. These billion eccentric billionaires mm-hmm. like him and Elon. You book a flight. It's get me to point eight to point B as fast. Well, as possible. Well, these influencers are going to do it. I tell you that. I guess, but yeah, that's that's probably who they're targeting. Do they talk? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Next. laughs> oh, welcome it back, fam. The all new F9 trailer drops Whoa. tomorrow. Come High on. expectations because that last one fucking stunk. Dude, the uh, no first teaser for this dude. stunk. It, it was swinging from a cliff. It stunk. Oh, I mean. F9? Yeah, yeah. come on. Oh. Let's go. F9? Yeah. yeah. That's going to make me start F1. Yes. Oh, just so yeah. I can watch F9. You better. You're, John you're Cena lucky. in full regalia. Oh, with, see? With the hair. Hustle, loyalty, respect. Yes. Oh. Toretto's brother. <laughs> this is the one where he's dressed up like Megatron? Right. I'm going to have to catch up, boys. All right. All right. I'm going to go watch F1. You are in through. for, you're in for quite a treat. Oh, I can't wait. Well, we yeah. buy the best movie you've seen ever seen in your life to be honest because you have a limited selection this is probably gonna be the best one yeah. Yeah. which one the first one the first what about one. two three four five six seven eight it's gonna top it. it's uh, gonna uh, top uh, every yeah. single time when's the rock getting he shows up in five. Oh my god uh, I gotta well then you gotta watch yeah. the Hobbs and Shaw spinoffs bro Cena's at nine mm-hmm. the yeah. rock's at five mm-hmm. oh. yeah guess what Vin Diesel's at one two three four five six seven eight one Two, three, <laughs> four, five. Yeah, everybody, me and Diesel is hey, in the show. Statham comes in, too. Yeah. What? Oh, Jason yeah. Statham. Oh, what, which one? Now I'm thinking about it. Just Six. watch one. Just watch one and then jump straight to five. Oh, yeah. Gold. Walk, then do well, you got to get two. Good. Fucking Mike and Winch. Ludacris. Slingers. I don't even think you guys like this movie now. You're telling me to watch That's not true. No, no, no. He's just, no, yeah, he's, he's a fugazi. He's, he's appealing to you. No, 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 no. He's not wrong. Don't let him yeah. talk. Two, two through four us. stink. You can skip him. No, I mean, you can, no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't hear that you guys have all lied about how much you like these movies. Look, Fast Five is just unbelievable. I don't It's better than Young Rock. We know that. It is better than Young Rock. Yeah, we know that. Listen, which episode? All of them combined into wow. one. Hey, listen, I'm about to go on Young Rock 6 tonight, okay? <laughs> YR6. Yikes. This episode is going to crush because YR5 was the worst episode of all time. I can't That's right. Get young Dom. Oh. Young Toretto oh. out there. Yes. Because they hate each other, right? Young Rock and Young Dom. Uh huh. Yeah. Vin's already got his son ready yeah, for the his next son, ones. Oh, his real son. Hey, hey, real quick, though. Rest in peace to that very handsome guy. Paul Walker. Paul Walker. Yeah. Fast seven. Hey, Miss you, Paul. Don't forget the tissues. For Did you say Han? Been a long You're saying rest in peace to Han over Paul. <laughs> you, my friend. Is that a name, Han? Han also. No, Han is dying. Paul Han has died name. about six times in the movie. Han yeah. is alive in real life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you, Paul. Thank you, Han. Thank you, Some Paul. say the movies. Go ahead, what's up? What's what? that? Huh? Some what? say the movies. Just, just the movies. Well, were you gonna say something about, about the them stinking? Because I mean, it's no, you know, two through four do kind of stink. You know, they may you have that. improved. No, the the fast. Don't say. Well, you're gonna fucking say, Tony. Don't fucking say. It. Ooh, Mitt, what do you think he's gonna say? I know exactly what he's gonna they say. They may Tony. have improved since. Don't Paul. say. It. It's impossible. No, Tony, no, that's not true. Passed Tony. away. But uh, too fast and furious is good. It's all right. I yeah, you mean when windchills slinging touchdowns all over Japan? <laughs> no, that's that Tokyo one, Drift. That one sunk. Is that, that three? <laughs> yeah, no, that's four. That's four. Tokyo, that's Tokyo's two. Off. I thought Tokyo was Tokyo's, Tokyo's three. Tokyo's, Tokyo's three. three. Yeah. Four was uh, Are you fast sure Tokyo and was furious. The fast and furious when the whole crew came back is very fucking good. It, it's up there for my top. Was Jesse the there? Crew. No, Jesse Don, 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 gets Don, fucking Don, peppered Don, by an Uzi so in the first <laughs> movie. Uh, Tokyo just, Drift is the only one that I can go with. <laughs> Calms me. It's the only one, obviously. Tokyo it's not the Drift same. is a spinoff, though. So yeah, exactly. that it is, the third, mo- it it is the third movie, though. Yeah, I yeah. like the, I like not the one, third. two, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, three. Go Long Winchell, obviously, is fucking pretty yeah. good in it. But yeah, I mean, I'm jacked up for this. Hopefully, it doesn't disappoint. 
You're just, you think it might disappoint and Cena's in it. It'll you, you don't even like Cena anymore. You don't. No, no, no. That's the problem is I, I believe that I was very vocal about that. Hey, need more Cena in the trailer. Need Cena branching like a fucking desert eagle or something. You, you know, like, you can't bring your golden goose like out at the, the new, goddamn the first The new trailer. Suicide Squad trailer. Yeah. They knew what they were doing. Yeah. They, they, they had seen it up front and center. They did. All I'll times. be honest. Like that, the red band, one of that was, was pretty cool. But was. that I saw that and I was still kind of just like, eh. Yeah, but Stallone as the shark. Yeah. I don't like Joel Kinnaman. I don't think the, the guy who plays Rick Flagg, like yeah. the main guy, like I think he kind of stinks. I agree. Just, yeah, if I, if I they agree. casted that role better than the movie. Because he's like the main character pretty yeah. much, right? I mean, Idris Elba was getting a lot of face time yeah. in the trailer, but yeah, like but now we, you I need a we leading know now man. who the real Cena. main character is. Cena. Yeah, it's Cena. Yeah. They need to focus on uh, Margot Robbie, too. 12 time, her own movie. 12 time Marine of the Year, John Cena. Yeah. People forget, and they, they shouldn't. Do. But yeah, jacked purple, up for this. Nice. Purple, purple star. Purple heart. Purple, purple star. Nose. Purple star. Purple nose. <laughs> China launches traffic signal for camels. Damn, Boo. They, they don't know. What to do, dude. <laughs> yeah, what are we talking about? I didn't know there were camels in China. I'm going to be honest. Me neither. I this mean, looks, this like looks like a, the fucking talk desert. About China's dude. got the great, largest desert in the world. Which one? That's not true, but they do have a They do have a desert. <laughs> they do have a desert. Largest one in the world. Oh, Sahara is the uh, large desert in the world, Tony. Yeah, surprised but, you uh, didn't know that, Tony. That seems like that movie would be one of your. Favorites. Are you sure the Gobi is not bigger than the Sahara? <laughs> I do believe that the Gobi is not bigger than the Sahara. Okay, but I, I cannot declare because I do not know for sure. The largest desert on Earth is the Antarctic Desert. Yeah, that doesn't count. But what's next? It's ice. <laughs> no, it's sand. Oh, Antarctic, what? like the one in Antarctica. <laughs> Sahara is, in fact, the biggest actual desert. Yeah. How big is a Gobi? <laughs> Gobi is 0.5 million square miles. Anyone ever been on a camel? Nah. No. I have no. not either. They're dangerous, dude. Do camels I want to go on a horse uh, first. They're fucking assholes, too. Mm -hmm. They spit. spit on you. Camels are the only creature on this planet that have more phlegm in their mouth than mitt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that right. is point but do they do their uh, little hump things how they're filled with water that's when fake. they uh keep going does the hump thing go down you know as they use the water no. yeah it's like a gas tank that. you're a clown dude. like it deflates is that what you're talking about yeah like does their like little hump thing deflate what, because they're what going do you through think, their water Matt? what do you think i think yes because it's they're using up water, all their dude. water it's not filled with water what's it filled up with then dude well, it's, it's part of their body fucking planet did you, you fucking about? it's not a balloon <laughs> jesus no jesus. they're filled up with water that's why they can go yeah, so in the fucking long. cartoons <laughs> dude, <they're laughs> In the it's cartoons, they're man. in the cartoons they're filled with water. Bugs Bunny in real life, me. Uh, <laughs> fun fact here: a camel's hump does not hold water at all. It actually stores fat. Wait, what? Where are you reading that from? <sighs> the fucking internet, dude. I don't believe that. Man, listen. Man, we can't get your, all your info from fucking cartoons. Yeah, we dude. learned you're very good at a few things. One of them being math. Mm -hmm. The other self-proclaimed american history buff no. true anything international maybe just you know stay out of it you don't seem to know a it, single damn about a fuck yeah at all it seems mitt that you are quite the uncultured swine yes well i just think it's kind of bullshit that i've actually been told by teachers that camels hold water and teachers i've always known it. that teachers didn't well you know what they said before that in the uh like teachers lab or whatever I, the teachers lounge they're saying hey just wait till you hear what i pull on this <laughs> doofus in my class and i got and they're all saying hey i got him last period actually yeah. you know so yeah that's kind of on you mate yeah well this is all bullshit so well it's not but Next, I do. I know for sure though they don't. They don't fucking pay attention to stoplights. No, no, definitely Th not. That will not work. This is awesome. Former Walmart employee drives into <laughs> store after getting fired. <laughs> I did not read into this at all, but that they, uh, I tell you what, a picture says a thousand words, and that guy was not happy. No, He's all the way in that store too. Oh, He's in the greeting yeah. card aisle. Yeah, he won this fire. <laughs> I mean, he did not go quiet into the dark. No, night. he didn't. And it looks like he may have been severely injured in this. <laughs> yes. but and he's probably going to jail. Probably going to jail. <laughs> yeah. 
But he made a fucking point. He did. <laughs> and he made a mess. <laughs> Someone's going to have to clean that up. Yeah. I wonder what position he held. Well, and probably he fucking said. greeter. Greeter. I probably tried running over the new greeter. Scraping the greeter off the at rear axle right yeah. now in this yeah. picture. I wonder if he got out to him and he's like, that's fucking right. What did I tell you? Fire me this happens. <laughs> Let him up. Yeah. <laughs> This is wild. It really yeah, it is. is. It is. You guys ever leave? <laughs> you guys ever leave work like this? <laughs> like in a Can't previous say I job? Have. Hey, I'm gonna drive through this fucking place's window. I got no. fired Didn't from you? Papa John's. I thought about doing that. You but, thought about? But then you realized they fired you for cause because you showed up to work drunk. <laughs> and if you drove through, you were a delivery driver. <laughs> I was oh, making dude. the pizzas. Showed up I was drinking not a beer to fucking deliver pizzas. Mint leaves boost up. I'm gonna drive through this fucking place. <laughs> Fuck it. Connor, didn't you quit in some scumbag fashion, some <laughs> waiter job? Yeah, I quit one time and I was <laughs> like, yeah, I'm coming in, I'm coming in, and I just didn't come in. <laughs> and it was like the busiest day of the year, right? No, there. no, like, no. Really it was, hampered. It was snowing. <laughs> it, it was terrible out nobody was gonna be on the road and they were like i i honestly said to myself they're gonna make me come in on this fucking day even though i signed up for the days <laughs> and halfway through i was like no fuck this i'm turning around i'm done yeah yeah i will never go back to the bank rough, no but i did that was a scumbag way to quit fuck them whatever the back rough, classy there's place. no there's no real good way to quit a job how'd you go at the shipyard you didn't fucking <laughs> Ram a ship into the dock. Yeah. I'm out, bitch. <laughs> so, so the like the main painter boss was a fucking legend. Like he just no one hated the shipyard more than him. <laughs> so when I told him, he's like, Oh good, good good fucking you. way to go, pal. This place stinks. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. <laughs> oh, he was the best, dude. Like he would be fuck he was the best ledge. Everyone was happy for me. You know how it goes. So for my first job, I was uh, I was clearing Hello, tables. Bill. Hey, so, Bill. Hey, Bill. I was show, clearing Bill. tables at an Italian restaurant in Shelbyville, and I quit because I had to go run track and I couldn't work through the spring or whatever. So the manager called my mom and said that I cussed him out and called him a piece of shit that didn't understand that kids didn't have time to work. And I was like 14 years old. No chance I ever would have said any of that shit. Well, well, why'd, you, why'd you say it? Why in his defense, you, you probably were a little piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, this is classic Bill just deflecting after he fucking did something to be a prick. Bill, why were you working at... Were you going to school? You had to go to track? I mean, you... you yeah. What do you mean? 14. And did you have to skip four, last period yeah. to get to ah, work? Ah, shit, I gotta get to my shift. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Beppo. They only let you work, like, I think it was like 16 hours a week or something at that point. So I was just going in, like, on the weekends, and I was fucking just wiping off tables. Not oh, okay, okay. Anything. A little Saturday track practice. Yeah. Would you like more fresh yeah. bread? What, what was, yeah, get the fuck away from me. Nick, what was your first job you had? Pizza place? First job? Yeah. No, I, first job was Chuck, Chuck e. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese, man. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was Best yeah. the game. Place. And you did everything there. You worked in the kitchen. <laughs> you made the pies. You worked in the, the best job was working on the floor of the games. Oh, yeah. When all you literally, all you had to do was open up the games. You had a key to every game, open it up, put tickets in there. You get stacks of tickets, fat stacks of tickets. <laughs> Uh, serving the food was okay. Chucky was the worst job. Mm -hmm. hands down. Oh, you had to be Chucky? Oh, yeah. Oh, Everyone man. had to you do it. no getting out of it. It wasn't an honor? Charles it was Ch not an honor. You oh, think it'd be fun. Yeah. <laughs> you think it'd be awesome to put on Chuck's head and you just walk. Oh, I'm Charles. Got a little strut in you. Yeah, I now got. knight you as an official <laughs> Charles Entertainment Cheese. Thank you, God! When in reality, it's no, go in that broom closet, put on that smelly old suit that a thousand people have worn before you and start marching around this place so all these little rugrats can run up, grab your leg, pull on your nose, pull on your tail, punch in the dick, punch yeah. the shit out of you, look up, they look up, and there's a screen in the mouth so you can see that's where the face... You're not real. There's a face in there. Right, you I can shut up, some kids. kids. Yeah. <laughs> You're not allowed to talk. <laughs> You're not allowed to talk. You have to have a handler who helps you out, but they don't really help you out. They just stand there as a nightmare. How much fucking pie were you snaking? Oh, like, it was great. Eat, uh, eat a slice part. whenever you want. So the, the, handler, was the handler was the best job going. No, because they had to deal with the kids, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You just get doped up when you put on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> you just, ah, fuck just smoke billowing out of the fucking ears. <laughs> yeah, or before. Hey, what's up, kids? I'd probably have trouble not saying anything. <laughs> and just having to be like... <sighs> hey, Chucky doesn't fucking talk, okay? <laughs> Next. 
Good for this guy, though, driving into that store yeah. and probably going to jail for the next 10, 15 yeah. years. Good luck in prison. Yeah. Speaking of which, uh, a Connecticut woman was arrested three times in 24 hours. Did anyone read this? I don't know. No. About the, no this it's impressive. <laughs> is impressive. Though. Yeah. yeah. So she looks like a fucking resident booze bag, so, yeah. I mean. Yeah. Do they have her in a straight jacket, or, is, or are her arms crossed? I think she might How be in cuffs. Get out. That is an Adidas track jacket. Yeah, she's got a couple oh, different That's kind of a mind bender. Like, yeah. you, you, know? you not get put away for like at least 12 hours? Like, whenever you get thrown in the drunk tank, it like, isn't yeah. it usually like 8 to 10 hours? Yeah, but that's the, that, there's still plenty of time after that. To she get could have like, pooped on right. the sidewalk or it's something. from Plainfield, you know? Connecticut. That's she was first words. busted at Pretty about 6.30 p.m. Saturday. Um, when she allegedly stepped towards a victim with a large kitchen knife. Okay, so, okay. Get you. so they let her out after that? Yep. Uh, what the hell? Uh, it was just menacing. We'll just let you go. And, and she cut herself to make it seem like she was attacked. Oh. Smart. She was released on bond. $250. Um, James bond. Sent to the hospital. Fucking Bennigan's coupon. So she went to the hospital after that and that's then she got arrested at, she got arrested at the hospital nice okay for an incident involving the workers at the medical facility give me that morphine now <laughs> <laughs> and then she violated the conditions of release by returning home where the original feud took place i'm back <laughs> guess who's home she also got arrested while in jail yeah for what? clogging the toilet <laughs> Nice. Of her cell with trash oh. and purposely flooding her jail cell. So she got arrested four times. <clears throat> I think one of them was just a outside of twenty four hours. Oh, okay. Jeez. Good comment. So she was just ankle deep in poop in her cell, <laughs> <laughs> just like <laughs> Gizlane. <laughs> Very similar to Gizlane. <laughs> Next. This lady's on a fucking heater. Oh, I, w- I, I wish I would watch this because Nooch. Ted Nugent has no idea what COVID-19 means <laughs> in Bizarre Rant. And I'll tell you what, he does look very confused there. He might have just woken up. Was that, Stranglehold uh, playing in the background of the rant? I assume I it toilet was. Toilet paper on his chin from like a <laughs> shaving accident? Or is that facial I assume that is just playing behind him 24-7. Yeah, so. He probably finally turned it off after, what, 16 months? Yeah. Wait, hold on, why? He's like, why, why can I only hear fucking... I'm not... Why would I wear a mask? What are you talking about? Dang, oh, baby! <laughs> Get out of the way! Yeah. <laughs> That song's electric. Listen to that on Ted the way home. Ted in his own planet. <laughs> it looks like he's got a nice spread out there. I remember him, yeah. I, he was on an episode of Cribs, if I do recall... And it was electric. Really? Yeah. Bunch of guns and shit. Ooh. And out in like Wyoming or something. Nice lake. Had some, a couple of bottles of crystal on the fridge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy, Ted. For usual. It was awesome. Oh, Good Ted. for Ted Nugent. Good luck. Good, Good luck, Ted. He's confused. World's a little different now. Yeah, <laughs> he's confused, but it's all right. Just keep blaring stranglehold. You'll be all right. Next. Make <laughs> it out of my way. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Uh, a plastic surgeon was slammed for TikTok dancing with big bags of human fat. <laughs> Why? Why is that blurred out? Because it, it's, it's fucking disgusting. It Graphic brutal. image. I mean, that is a big bag of skin. That's a big slice of bacon they yeah. cut off of some fat pig's back, man. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to see that. Headed to the paper street fucking soap company pretty soon. Some fat yeah. pig's back. <laughs> TikTok's the worst. TikTok's the I mean, how many views did she get on this? I mean, if she was playing, what was she dancing? If she to? was playing with it like a guitar, and she was fucking playing paired, stranglehold. Playing yeah. stranglehold. <laughs> you like it out of my way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we're now we're fucking talking. I mean, what is it? I, all I can think of in basketball isn't that a psych out? Fucking coop drinking, the- drinking Marlon Brando's like ass fat out of like a bag or something. <laughs> oh, it's so salty. <laughs> <laughs> this is weird though I mean yeah no thanks do your thing I guess TikTok you know it was a crazy place but she fi- she got fired I assume I would assume had so had to have but it doesn't say it doesn't say fired it just says slammed she just got slammed I guess she got slammed Maybe they were like, yeah. But Maybe everyone does. The it. way she was fucking playing with that bag of fat, like Ted Nugent's axe, you know, <laughs> you know we'll give her a pass, but I guess. If all the plastic surgeons are like, look, we all play with the fat, but you can't be putting it on goddamn TikTok. True. You know, delete your TikTok or get out. 
fucking yeah. shaking it to Laffy Taffy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Maybe like cracking the whip like a towel on somebody. Oh, oh that'd be good. <laughs> that would be sweet. You got fat slapped. <laughs> Next. Oh, yeah. Gary Player's son banned from Masters after golf ball stunt. What'd he do? This guy's a dipshit. They were honoring like the, uh, I think it was like the first uh, African American guy to ever yeah. play at Augusta. And he was getting honored on the first tee, and Gary uh, Player's son thought it would be a good idea. He said, you know, I thought people would be interested in uh, what golf ball my dad was playing. So he, he just, like, in the back of the shot, like, sticks the sleeve of golf balls in there while they were, you know, like, <laughs> doing this guy's, like, memorial thing. What the hell? Yeah, and they basically fucking kicked his ass out and banned him forever. So <laughs> see you, Gary Player's son. Yeah, thanks for coming. <laughs> he, said, asshole. he said in that moment, all I could think about is, wow, I bet the fans would really be interested to see what kind of golf ball my dad's playing. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong! That's tough. That's a shame because uh, Gary's going to be the uh, – Honorary starter for the next fucking 30 years, too. Yeah, well, his son's not going to be on the back. So. <laughs> Better figure something out. Next. Hey, Gary, call your other son. Okay. Here Kevin James is going to play Saints coach go. Sean Payton in a Netflix movie called Home Team. The movie is based on when Payton was suspended in 2012 and coached his son's sixth grade football team via Peter King. Do we need this movie? No. No, no we don't. Uh, but it did say that Peyton went eight and two. What two dudes beat Sean Payton in a sixth grade football match? Kevin O'Shea. <laughs> yeah. Kevin O'Shea, Bill Bob. Good For chance. Coach yeah. Gaines. Good mm-hmm. chance Danny O'Shea may have gave him a run as well. This movie's gonna fucking stink, dude. I think they. <laughs> yeah, I, I think they were spot on with the fucking casting, though. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? I'm gonna grab my full cell. Who else is in it? Doesn't matter. Kevin just, James is head right coach. There. I mean, dude. from those two photos, James if looks I more guess, like Sean Payton than Sean Payton. If I had to guess, Dan Patrick's going to be calling one of the games. I believe Abby Madison Productions. Yeah. You can uh, expect yeah. Rob Schneider to show up uh, exactly. at some point. Exactly. Rob Schneider's going to play fucking <laughs> Rob Ryan. <laughs> going to put him in a fat <laughs> suit or something. Awesome. I mean, didn't Sean Payton have a fucking yay or nay on this? Why didn't he say... I mean... Can we get some girls in here? Oh, ben Mendelsohn should be playing fucking fit. Sean Payton. Perfect. This is bullshit. Maybe he's boys with James, though. Maybe he's like, hey, Kev, I, I love you. I need you to play me in this movie. I don't know. I, I haven't been entertained by something Kevin James has done since uh, King of Queens. There is a large petition going around to have uh, Frankie Munez play. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> Frankie should play Drew. Yes, please. no. Yes, no. <laughs> Can yeah. you repeat the question? <laughs> I'm out on fucking Frankie as yeah, well. Yeah, I don't. Uh, give me fucking Ben Mendelsohn or give me death. Who else could Who else could play? I mean, Jesus Christ, hey, you know. Maybe fucking Gosling. Make Gosling fucking. Gosling John could maybe play him. Yeah, he's got the range too. Uh huh. I mean, Steve Carell. Give him a fuck. Steve, Steve Grell could do it. Yeah. yeah. You're right. I, at first, I was like, ah, oh, yeah. He could. I came around real quick. I mean, if you're going to get I mean, Kevin you, James, you might as well throw fucking Giamatti an offer. Oh, true. Get an actual thespian in if there. If we're actually fucking. talking about it and you want it to be done right, I mean, Keaton's the answer here. Keaton. Keaton would crush. Keaton wouldn't be bad. Tom fucking. Hanks. Timmy Hanks. Chet Hanks. Better yet, Chet. Chet. Yeah. Yeah. Sheesh. Sheesh. Oh, God. <laughs> Chet's uh, way too busy right now. True. I don't know. I just and I can I can already fucking like see William the kind Defoe? of humor in this. All oh, build a foe would be a great. Good pull right yeah. there. Why not? I don't know if he's if he'd be convincing as a, fo- a football kids. coach. Yeah, yeah. There's gonna be a lot of fart jokes in this. A lot of you know. What about Franco kind of, then? Franco. Jimmy. Yeah. Mm. Can't trust him around kids. No. You, whoa. And they do say that. Uh huh. They do say that. What about, uh, I mean, if we're going to get Kevin James, we might as well just get uh, Jonah Hill circa Moneyball to okay. play. Okay. <laughs> you know what okay. I mean? That is my favorite Jonah Hill. Yeah, what the he hell are we good, doing here? He would be a great Rob Ryan. He would. Poor dogs, he Jonah. Would be, he yeah. would be a great Rob Ryan. Yeah, see, like, we got to know who, who's who's playing MCDC. Mm-hmm. Who's the starting quarterback of the team? You know? Drew Brees. Well, isn't it about the kids? Team? Oh, oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. But I assume MCDC is still going to yeah, be in this film. Has to. OC. Chill for him. 
<laughs> I don't know. This movie's going to fucking stink. Yep. Who knows when it's going to come out. But, you know, good for Sean Payton. Hey, good for him, huh? Yeah. Good work, Sean. You I got think he movie. technically is going to get a writing credit for this. Well, yeah, it is a movie about probably one of the worst years of his life. But still, hey, Kevin James is in it. You know, We're all going to have a laugh. It's going to be hilarious. Let's go. It's going to be hilarious. Next. In sad news, Arclight Cinemas and Pacific Theaters are closing for good. I to mean, our guests and members of the film industry who have made going to the movie such a magical experience over the years, <laughs> our deepest thanks. I, I've never heard of either of these yeah. Mickey Mouse yeah. fucking yeah. talking about these real these real these these I haven't heard of them. AMC These places are, were closing even if the pandemic yeah. didn't happen. Let me yeah. know when AMC closes, dude. Yeah. Well. Or showcase. You won't have to wait long. Don't yeah. worry, my friend. It is if, coming, my friend. If showcase, I, Godzilla vs. Kong grossed Saving. over $50 million. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, if showcase shuts down, then I'll be You're working. bragging about 50 mil? Come In, on. During man. this pandemic? Come yeah. On. Before everyone's vaccinated? Yeah. It does not matter. Do you know how much money it costs to make that movie? Yeah. And how much money it costed to promote that movie? 50 mil is a drop in the yeah. bucket. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. But if the movies aren't, you know, if this HBO Max thing is temporary and this is just for yeah, this year, it's temporary. I don't this think it's temporary. I don't think it is. This year, I thought Seems it was just like till 2022. Revolutionary there. technology always just comes in for a couple, maybe a couple months and then drops out and it's gone forever. But the actors miss sure. out. The actors lose money. The actors will find a way. You don't think they're going to renegotiate those deals and find a way? I, I, would the fucking big movies let them? You know? Big Hollywood? Big, well, big yeah. box office let that happen. AMC They'll probably just down. take someone from off the street in Hollywood and they all want to be actors. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, work like that. Because they'll be the same, just same as NFL. If there was no NFL players, they'd just grab guys off oh. the street and throw them on the field. All right. Well, mm. there is just a lot of people that want that job and actually work for that. So I don't know. There's hey, a lot of people who want a lot of jobs, Mitt. That's just not how life works, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> well said. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Yeah, movie theaters are dead. It's unfortunate. No, no, uh, can you no. go to the stick a fork in them? The AMC still yeah. going strong. Uh, Stakeums apparently was just going after Neil deGrasse yeah. Tyson. He tweeted, "The good thing about science is that it's true, whether or not you believe in it." And Stakeum oh, said, oh, Jesus. "Fucking log off, bro. Done with it." And Stakeum then, doesn't like science. Listen, I I love science, but Neil does get a little high and mighty sometimes. But Stakeum really came out yeah. fired on this and one then, for. I don't uh, get it. I don't get it. I don't get it either. Kevin Flynn, uh, Kevin FL seven nine eight two four three two zero, then replied to that and said, "You must have changed social media personnel." And they oh. said, "Nope, science itself isn't true. It's a constantly refining process used to uncover truths based in material reality, and that process is still full of mistakes." I love that move, Great though. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. They, they're dominating them. Neil just posts ridiculous sound bites like this for clout, and he has no respect for Jesus. epistemology. Don't Damned. Good for Stakeums, man. I mean, did, did actually Stakeums though hire like the director of science from Harvard to run their fucking? Twitter yeah, Billy account. Bob Thornton from Armageddon uh, actually <laughs> fucking constructed this tweet. Uh -huh. He's just sitting there every day watching Neil tweet, just gets the blood boiling, yeah. and then finally he snapped, couldn't take it anymore, and just fucking went in. Yeah. Whatever Get happened to motherfucker. whatever happened to him? He was like super big there for like was like hosting TV shows and had his own TV show. I feel like he was getting like a major push, and then Neil. Very similar to the stars he talks about, he kind of burned out. Yeah, I think people well, got sick of him real quick. Also, you know, physics is changing as we speak. Well said. You know, the laws of what we thought was, you know, how it was <laughs> <laughs> with energy and space. Well said. That's all up in the air right now, so he's probably in the lab. He's probably in the lab. Aliens. If anyone's working with aliens, probably Neil. You think it's NDGT? I think he might be serving on the Galactical Federation up in Mars, yeah. He kind of looks like older Simbad. Like when Ooh. Simbad got older <laughs> okay. and kind of let his hair go. The episode of oh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia that's, that he's in, he looks almost exactly like mm -hmm. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yeah. So I'm going to think about it. Next. Think about. That's it. Well, that's it. That's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. Well, I'll tell you what, hey, it, it's been a lot of fun. We've had a lot of laughs, haven't we? Yeah, yeah we have, we? man. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube. Search the pod on there. Uh, Bill, did we ever give away those uh, those those prizes for the giveaway? 
Bill's not back here. Oh, okay, Ew. of course, Bill. Fucking, you know, smacking his bologna at home. Oh, my tummy hurts. I can't poop. <laughs> <laughs> Eating slop every day. <laughs> um, we'll see you guys. We'll see you guys on Friday. Sorry, Bill. Love you, Bill. Love you, Bill. <laughs>